project and we are on the fifth lecture of that project writing the teachers page we have so far covered four lectures and we are on the fifth lecture writing the teachers razor page in the first lecture we discussed an introduction the overview in the second we created the model classes in the third we wrote the startup file in the fourth the previous one we have completed the home page and today we are going to complete the teachers razor page speaking visually this is the home page that we have done in the last lecture where we showed a link for all teachers when this link is clicked the user is brought to a new page on this page a list of all the registered teachers is shown to him this page is called the teachers page and this page we are going to complete today when the user is registered on that case also after registration the user is brought to the same teachers page so this is the page we are going to complete today come to the solution explorer find your project come to the pages folder the index page is already there in the last lecture we did it today add a new page new razor page for teachers when you add the razor page for teachers you will find two files are there one is the razor markup file and the second is the backing class let us start by writing our program into the backing class first this is the backing class that will open for you this is the dot cs html dot cs file this is the list of using directives after that this is the class teachers model and this is the constructor when an object of the teachers model is created asp.net core provides your context to you through the constructor and here we have stored that context so that we can carry on our database operations this is almost always the first step that you will be usually doing whenever you write a razor page so this is a typed a stereotyped or i'll say this is a required part of the code after that we are going to show the list of teachers on the razor page this is the list that we are going to show we will be showing it in a table and for that we will need a list of teachers for that we have created a property list teacher teachers this property this property will be used to generate this table and when the page is requested your on get method will be called and in the on get method we are filling the teachers list by querying the database the teachers list is filled and when the teachers list is filled it will go to the razor page and on the razor page we will use it to display all the records now let us come to the razor page and complete it this is the razor page dot cs html double click it to open it this is the file that opens and let me explain what we have done this is the page directive this is the model directive this connects your backing class and this is the add tag helper directive this code this part is required for the proper functioning of the various html form elements also and certain tag elements also this is almost always required and this of course is compulsory after that we have to show a heading for registered teachers a pipe and a link this is the h1 this is the registered teachers this is the pipe now this link this link is shown with the help of a tag helper this is anchor tag helper and there we have an attribute asp hyphen page this tells when this link is clicked the user will be taken to the index razor page this is register new this is register new after that we have to generate the table and this is the table tag that starts and inside the table we have a heading brief info details for that this is our first tr block 
and here this th this contains the details now this brief info here you find a lot of razor written here i could have written it as brief info and got the same thing but it is better to use model annotations and let me show you how we are picking from the models annotation first of all we are using html dot display name for display name for this model goes to model dot teacher zero dot teacher info this takes me to the this model is the collection that is coming the teachers collection and this gives me the first element of that collection and inside that first element the property being caught is teacher info let me show you where we wrote this this is an extract from the teacher model class there we wrote a property called teacher info and on that we wrote display name is equal to brief info this attribute on teacher info teacher info teacher info this attribute with the help of display name for display name for this attribute is picked and as a result this string this appears here this is a modular way you should follow this way and use it as far as possible because once you can modify things right from your model classes after that we have a for each loop this for each loop this is again the extract of the page that we are going to use this is the table we are generating this header we have discussed and now this part is being generated by this for each loop in the for each loop we are querying the list of all the teachers this teachers collection is coming from the backing class and here tr and tr now what is inside the first td this one html dot display for display for teacher info and what is teacher info teacher info is name comma email and you can see name comma email so this will display the data coming from your teachers collection and this will display the data for the first teacher after that we have an anchor asp hyphen page this will take me to the publications page the page that we will be adding in the next lecture and will show the details and asp root teacher id this teacher id this will be a parameter a query string parameter for the next page asp hyphen root hyphen so if i had written asp root hyphen x equal to something then x would have become the query string parameter for this more details you should refer my tag helpers tutorial on the razor pages chapter okay what goes into teacher id teacher this teacher dot email the email of that teacher the email of that teacher goes as a teacher id this teacher id becomes a query string parameter so whatever is the email it will be sent as a query string parameter this this value is being picked from the email of that record so email of that person is connected here and when this is clicked you will be taken to the publications page and teacher id will be the email and this part will be read this variable will be read on the publications page that we will complete in the next lecture so this is the page that we have completed now run the project and when you reach this page registered teachers page you will see everything there the teachers are there the publications link is there you can verify that the page works these publication links are not working but we will make them work in the next tutorial thank you